Welcome to Fredericton, New Brunswick. Here are some highlights of what you can expect on today's video. And we'll visit Grand Falls, New Brunswick as well. Welcome back to our channel and for those of you who are new here, we're Fern and Frank, two restless retirees doing our best to try to see this beautiful world around us and we want you to join us. So join us here as we continue our adventure in Atlantic Canada. Well here we are at one of the most economical hotels we were able to find in Fredericton. Uh, it was the Quality Inn and it was brand new and it's called the Amsterdam. Uh, it was very lovely. The lobby was very nice and it had a full breakfast available to you for free included with the price uh, right here in the lobby. The whole hotel was completely full uh, so we were actually very lucky to get a room here and uh, although it was not cheap uh, it was the best economical room in the area. It's August and it is high season so we took it. Hi everyone. Just a halt here. A minor interruption in this video. As you can see, we're not in Kansas anymore, meaning we're not at the cabin in New Brunswick. We're here at home in Ottawa. But I just want to update you. At the end of this video, we're going to find out which country we're going to be going to on our next Trusted House Sitters. Over the last three weeks, four weeks, we've been playing this game, asking our viewers to take their, put their picks in, what their guesses are, and we've eliminated down to two countries, Portugal and England. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out where our next Trusted House Sitter is going to be because it's coming up right around the corner. So wait till the end. Now let's continue our discovery of Fredericton. Fredericton is the capital city of New Brunswick and is known for its colonial feel. The charming city is rich in culture and history and offers the comfort of a small town with world-class facilities. Did you know that you can take a free tour of the Legislative Assembly Building? We did, it was great. They have wonderful art galleries here and beautiful playhouses as well. They even have a convention center. There are plenty of lovely shops to browse. And the restaurant and pub scene is very strong here. They even have a sports hall of fame. The Garrison District is very popular for events here in downtown uh, Fredericton and so we will be popping back here a little later because there is an event today but for now we're going to have some lunch at the Palate which is very very popular with the locals, uh, the people who work down here and that sort of thing and that's because the food is very good and very fresh and so whenever we're in Fredericton we always make sure we have a meal here. So we've arrived just in time to check out the Garrison Night Market here in Fredericton, New Brunswick. The Garrison Night Market is a summertime staple here in Fredericton. Every Thursday from 4.30 to 9, the community comes together. There is live entertainment and vendors and great places for friends and family to meet together and enjoy some good food and good company. It's a lot of fun. You'll definitely want to make sure you have comfortable shoes on.
Jason Flores back here on Stand Up. was a lot of fun, but it's dinner time now. Well, we've heard good things about this place, so we thought we'd try it out. Breakfast at the Amsterdam Quality Inn here in Fredericton. Not Pretty bad at all. Hotel. It's quite confusing when I looked it up in um, Hotels.com, I think is how I booked this. And I thought to myself, Amsterdam, do I have the right place? <laughs> uh, but it's just the name of the uh, hotel. But it's the Quality in Amsterdam in Fredericton, New Brunswick. On to our next adventure. Right, we made it to Grand Falls and it's not raining. We were, that's the thing we were worried about. So what I've seen from coming in, she's gonna look spectacular. So come along, check it out with us. Let's go. Grand Falls is a town in the northwest of New Brunswick on the St. John River. Its name comes from a waterfall created by a series of rock ledges and it drops 23 meters or 75 feet. The waterfall and gorge and visitor center are practically in the center of town. The Malabine Tourist Center offers a great view of the falls and gorge. You can even zip line, hike and kayak there to get the full experience of this natural and wonderful place. This center has a lot of information to share, a lovely gift shop, and a rest area and plenty of parking. Let's give you some perspective of where we are. Very close to the U.S. Um, border here, Grand Falls, right here. Do you see it? And there's Maine and New Brunswick. And there's Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, PEI, Quebec, and Ontario. So we always say that we're from Ottawa. Ottawa is right here, and so we always drive through Montreal, on the south shore here, Tra River, uh, Livy, which is near Quebec City, Mont Magny, which I just did a, a video recently on that, and then we come across like this. We don't pop into the U.S., although it probably is closer to us to go that way, and we'll have to do that another time, but we usually come like this, through Edmonston, and then Campbellton, is where our cabin is, which is northern 
New Brunswick. And this trip that we just did, uh, we went to Fredericton, which is right here, the capital of New Brunswick. And St. Stephen is where we stayed at the B&B. &B. And St. Andrews by the sea is right here as well. We went to St. John. So we did a lot on this trip. Still lots to explore. Now let's take a look at the falls in a more fluid motion. really enjoyed that. Actually. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was pretty amazing. That was surprising. That was very good. So I'm glad it didn't yeah. rain. We're a chance to see. We're expecting to see like a bit of a park kind of stuff. Yeah. They've set it up really nicely. They focused the town around the Grand Falls, which is a big uh, thing for them. It brings in a lot of tourism. Yeah, and they have kayaking. You can arrange for that. There is a small fee if you want to go down these steps that are $5, available. $5, I think it was. $5 per person. You don't really need to. No. Because there is lots to see. Lots for free to mm -hmm. see. Um, the people here should be so proud of what they've done. Oh, no, that's for sure. It's quite beautiful. And uh, this region is uh, about 75% uh, French Canadian. Um Speaking but and 25% spe English speaking. English, but yeah. everybody speaks English, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Uh, so we really felt welcomed. And, yeah. and, and driving great. in through town, we found it really nice, really cute. A nice grass boulevard down the middle with gardens. So we're going to go check that out now. Yeah. We're going to have a park. We're going to park it, walk the uh, downtown, bring that to you. See if you find a coffee shop because, you know, coffee, Java yeah. Walker. Have a nice coffee and then head back to the cabin. But on that one, we ain't going to show you that. But we got to pick up some groceries so uh, we can. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see us getting to see groceries because uh, we've been gone for a little while. And I'm just so grateful that it's not raining. Yeah, that's for sure. So stay tuned for downtown Grand Falls. We take a walk through town. Um, I just love the way it's a very pretty town, very well designed, very clean, very tidy. Um, and they really know how to showcase what's important to them. I love it. Let's go see. Grand Falls has an impressive linear park right downtown. Check out this beautiful tribute to Ron Turcotte, horse racing legend on the famed horse Secretariat. Stay with us everyone as we share with you where we're going next. Hello everyone. Hi, I'm hi. here on camera. Okay, so we're down to the final choice. So everyone has their picks in, 
But first, hopefully you enjoy that video on Fredericton and Grand Falls, and it's a place that you might want to hopefully visit one day. But anyway, here we are. So if you haven't followed, here's the decision on our next trusted house sitter. We've already eliminated Spain, Scotland, and France, and we're down to Portugal and England. So I know, to, I know a lot of you had insight because of our background being Portuguese and that we're going to go to Portugal. So you guys had an advantage. So that's not fair, but not this time. We're not going to Portugal this time. No. It's England. We're going to London, England to do a house sit with Trusted House Sitters. So if you don't know, we belong to Trusted House Sitters, but check that out. We have other videos on that. We'll put a link below. And we are out there for a two week sit. Our first time ever out that London, England, and it's a great platform because we get accommodations for free. So we just basically have to get airfare to get out there. And then we do some grocery shopping and we do our own cooking and we take care of the pet and the home and all that stuff. So it's a great platform. But anyway, we can't wait. So we're going to get our lingo, our British lingo in uh, order. We're going to find out, uh, you know, a boot means a trunk and uh, bangers is basically breakfast, I think. And we're going to ride the tube, which is the subway. And hopefully, and the big thing, we're hoping to meet the new king of England, better known to the French people as Charles the Third. So anyway, <laughs> come along and check out our next adventure in Jolly Good, Jolly Good England and our next house sit. Come along. We'll see you there, everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that like button, send a comment, share this video with a friend. In the meantime, check out our socials, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and Facebook for the latest daily tidbits. Let's say it's a boat.